Hey everyone, it's Eric here from i525XL. Today is Friday, December 6th. Just doing another tank update. Showing off the tree that we put up last weekend, so getting ready for Christmas. But on the tank side, everything is going pretty good. Um, algae is at bay for now. Uh, I've changed my lighting schedule a bit, so I've got the... Um, middle light going on now for most of the day and then the two end lights the G6's come on uh, around five o'clock and then the, everything goes off at uh, 10 so trying to help mitigate the algae a bit not give it so much to thrive off of right now um, seems to be working out well corals themselves are looking okay I still haven't got around to trimming that top piece yet but I'm going to do that <clears throat> and uh, everything else is actually status quo not much to go and talk about here um, the nitrates were at 39 at the beginning of the week so I started putting in ugh, let's get it here the Bacto balance by um, uh, Tropic Marine uh, seems to be doing well I think it down to about 29 so I'm doing a gradual decrease just in daily doses sorry I'm having a hard time talking today daily doses of the uh, back to balance and uh, it seems to be helping quite a bit I still haven't really found the ultimate source of the nitrate spike um, nothing's dead inside so I don't know not overfeeding but uh, anyway we'll we'll keep monitoring and see how it goes I'll try and take some readings and post them here for the video. If not, I'll do it next week. On the other side, uh, Seahorse Tank is doing okay. As you can see, I'm getting some algae growth on this sand bed now. So, kind of <laughs> getting at both ends. Not sure why. Um, you can see the frostbite there, kind of nestled in with the, the Duncans. I don't know where my seahorse is right now. Uh, hiding. I saw him earlier this week, but um, anyway, I am going to start getting rid of some of the uh, green hair tip mushroom. It's just too much uh, growing. It was really pissing off my uh, green slimer there, so he's still not recovered. But um, I'm going to start, I'm going to take him down to the LFS and see if uh, I can offload them there. So we'll see how it goes. Um, other than that, this tank is doing really well. Pretty. Um, I don't want to jinx it other than this bloody algae on the sand bed, um, but it's doing okay. The corals seem pretty happy, so um, really different environment compared to the 525 and for the corals in terms of color, for sure. So that's it for today. Here's Bob. Um, not a lot to go through, just happy things are kind of balancing out, so to speak. So once I get the nitrates down and keep them down, I'll be happier, uh, and we'll just see how it goes. So. Again, thanks for everyone for all the comments on my previous posts. Really appreciate it. Um, I did post a short. Don't know if anyone saw it. My sea urchin was like leaking something from the top. It was... The, never seen it before. I googled it. I didn't find anything yet. Um, I don't know what it was doing. I, You know when you see a starfish melting, right, as they call it? Um, that's what it kind of reminded me of. <laughs> it was smoking from the very top. It's still in here. It was doing fine. Uh, I saw him earlier this morning. I don't know where he's gone now. So he's just going around cleaning the tank like he should. But I don't know what all that white stuff was coming at the top. So if any of you guys know, um, if you could put some comments down below or view, view the short, maybe comment there. I'm curious to see what that was all about. Uh, it actually looked bare on the top, and now it's all... I don't want to say healed, but it's not bare on the top anymore. So I don't, I don't know what the hell that was. Um, anyway... That's it for me for today. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Um, getting ready for Christmas. Do it now because the last minute is brutal. Anyway, thanks for watching and subscribing. Really appreciate all the comments as well. And until we chat again, stay safe and happy reefing.